Hi everyone, it's Ma from Sparkly Belly. Looking for ways to glam up your costume? Then check out this Tribal Fusion style panel skirt. It's a very beginner friendly fun project and the skirt adds another layer of shine and complexity to your costuming. Let's get started! To make this DIY Tribal Fusion panel skirt, you need 1 meter or 1 yard of main fabric. I recommend you use lightweight fabric. Sparkly lace or embroidered fabric or that precious piece of a suit you've kept for years will make a great panel skirt. Sheer fabric is great because it lets you see your movements through the panels, but lightweight solid fabric works well as well. Have 1 meter of this fabric ready, but if your fabric is really soft and drapes well, I recommend you get 1.5 meters and I'll explain why in a bit. About 10 centimeters or 4 inches of waistband fabric. If you use lace for the main fabric like I am here, it may not be sturdy enough to encase elastic. I'm using this lightweight fabric for the waistband section. Matching color thread. 1 meter of 2.5 cm or 1 inch wide elastic and trimming if you like. So first, take 3 measurements. Your belt line. This is where you want the waistband of your panel skirt to sit. It's usually below your natural waist for most people. Your hip line. This is the circumference of the largest part of your hips and your skirt length. I want this panel skirt to go all the way to the floor, so I measure from my belt line to the floor. Use whatever length you like, but if you want the panels to actually touch the floor, measure the front and back of your body separately. The back side tends to be longer because of the curves there, so for mine, my back panel is 2 centimeters longer than the front panel. Then from your main fabric, cut out two panels like this. For the front panel, the width is your belt measurement times 0.35 and the length is your skirt length plus 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch. For the back panel, the width is your belt measurement times 0.45 and the length is your skirt length plus 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch. If your fabric is really soft and drapes well, add a bit of flare towards the bottom. This way your finished panel won't bunch up at the bottom and look like an inverted triangle. So this is why you need a bit more fabric if your fabric is really soft. If your fabric has some body to it and doesn't drape well like my lace fabric, then simply cut the rectangle panels. From your waistband fabric, cut a strip that's 8 cm or 3 and a quarter inches wide and the length is your hip measurement plus 3 cm or 1 and a quarter inches. For each panel, finish one of the short edges and long edges. If your fabric has prints or other directional requirements, the short edge that you're finishing will be the skirt hem. You can use whatever method to finish the edges like rolled hem or zigzag stitch and the pattern includes a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. I finished my panels with a serger then I added lace trimming to the sides with the zigzag stitch. For the bottom edge, I really like the shape of the lace motifs so I trimmed the excess fabric neatly and left it as is. Take the strip to your ironing board and fold 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch from the long edge towards the wrong side and press and repeat for the other long edge. Then fold the entire thing in half and press. Open it up, align the short ends right sides together and do a straight stitch with a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Then fold the strip like this and the seam is going to be the center back. The fold on the opposite side is the center front. Mark the center front with a notch. A notch is a little snip you make within the seam allowance. Take the narrower front panel and at the top raw edge fold it in half to find the center point and make a notch there. Then place the panel and the strip right sides together. Match up the notches and align the rest and place pins. Take the wider panel, find the center point and place the panel and the strip right sides together. Match up the notch and the seam and the rest. 
and place pins. Do a straight stitch along the fold on the strip which is 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch from the edges. Then fold the raw edge and fold again according to the folds on the strip and match up the fold and the stitches on the wrong side. And do a top stitch along the fold and leave a 5 cm or 2 inch opening at the back. Wrap your elastic around your belt line to see how much elastic you need. Give it extra 2.5 cm or 1 inch and trim it to that length and insert the elastic through the casing. I'm using a safety pin here to guide elastic. And overlap the ends 2.5 cm or 1 inch and do a zigzag stitch to hold the ends together. And do a top stitch and close the opening of the waistband. And your panel skirt is complete! It can be used like an overskirt so you can instantly spice up a simple outfit. It's a great item to have in your costume wardrobe. The pattern is so simple, so customize the shape and length of the panels as you like and make your own version. And if you're curious about the pantaloons and the skirt and the tops I'm wearing with the panel skirt, you can learn to make your own. Check the description below for the links. Hope you liked the DIY Tribal Fusion Panel Skirt tutorial and if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. It makes a great matching piece for your troop costuming too. And if you want to make more belly dance costuming bits, sign up for my free course Belly Dance Costume Making 101 at sparklybelly.com slash free course. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!